let's decompose the full production prompt to see what's inside of it. This section shows you how to add specific instructions, known as prompts, to an AI agent. We do this to make responses of our AI agents more structured and reliable. Let's walk through an example using a pre-built customer support agent. We're wiring a customer support agent for Agentic Order Manager. The agent identifies a customer, lists their orders, and show order line items. Reliably, one tool per turn and always uses British English. Let's have a look at how our NA10 workflow is configured. You have AI agent chat messages arrive this way, and this is our customer support agent. Now to add the prompt inside the agent. Double click on this agent and you will see a page like this which contains all the configurations of this agent. To set or view the prompt instruction, you have to click on this button. First, you see our definition to the agent about how it should behave. It says you are a support agent for a agentic order manager. This can of course be saying any kind of company, but most importantly that it's a customer support agent. Then we specify tools and what those tools are doing. This tool description has been added here to improve consistency of AI interacting with uh, Google Sheets. Without these additional instructions, it will still work, but simply going to work less reliably. Then we go on to add rules about how we want the agent to behave. We ask to begin every user visible reply with a polite confirmation of question. We ask it to use British English at all times, since we are in the UK. We specify to use a one tool call per turn. That again, just improves the quality of it, improves consistency. We specify to use one customer ID order ID values for when returned, and this number needs to be exact. Provide additional information, such as that it must have a valid ID for each of the customers, and that if it can't find it, it needs to go and search for the additional information within the tools themselves. Then we go on to explain the workflow of how the agent should work, how it should be identifying the customers, how it should be listing it, how it should be showing the order details, and how it should be using the date ranges. With this information, the agent knows exactly how to use the tools, how to communicate with a user, in what way, how to use the words, how to be polite, and also how to execute the full workflow end-to-end -end in what order. These steps is what drives the quality of the tool. These steps is what allows the agent to complete the work reliably. It's comparable to when you hire an, a junior employee that arrives within your business.